everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Migiwa-san, a girl in love. <sighs> I made it on time. <sighs> huh? It's good to see you're not late. Oh, good morning, Migiwa. You're right, it's pretty unusual for me to be this early, isn't it? It sure is. Don't tell me you overslept as well. I know, I know. It's almost impossible to get out of the futon in winter. Sometimes I wish I could come to school wrapped in the futon every single day. It's those boneheaded ideas that make you always late for school, you know. Don't lump me into your personal problems. I don't think I've ever overslept. Huh? I couldn't style my bangs the way I like, so that's why I was almost late for school this morning. Come on. Come on! <sighs> My bangs look cute! But through perseverance, I was able to style it right. I'm a fashionable girl, so everything has to be just right, you know? Oh, it takes you that long to straighten your bangs, does it? That's pretty crazy. Well, if I had that extra time, I'd rather use it by sleeping in. Yeah, well, you just wouldn't understand. Huh? <laughs> well, I couldn't possibly come to school each day without knowing that I look my very best for Hanawa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Right. Good morning! <laughs> huh? Hello! Huh? Uh. <sighs> Hello, I love you. <gasps> Hi, Nawa. I. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I thought you'd say, man. <laughs> really? Oh, good morning to you, Migiwa. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, tell me a little bit more, Hanawa! Nikiwa! Did he just say what I thought? It can't be real. Never in my wildest dreams did I believe that he would confess his love for me in front of everyone. <gasps> Hold on! Uh, hey, come on! Stand up! <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for this morning. Don't worry about it. I can understand the state of shock you were in after Hanawa said something like that to you. Tell me what happened. Oh. <laughs> you ready? Huh? Hanawa said he loved Mikiwa this morning. What? For a while, even I couldn't believe it. So then, Mikiwa, you happy? Well, yeah, I am happy, I guess. But it's just that I... Huh? You okay? Are you excited? Of course. I guess I just... I just wasn't prepared for him to tell me like that. I had no idea what I should do with my face at the time! It's simple, isn't it? Just make a normal face. Mmm. Well, that is easier said than done. Calm down. You're officially a couple who are in love with each other now. I think you should be talking to Hanawa and not wasting your time with us two nobodies. <laughs> no, I can't. I'm too embarrassed. You've been expressing your love for him for ages. Why would you suddenly care now? Yeah, maybe Hanawa's waiting for you. Yeah, I guess. <sighs> I just can't help myself. Oh, wow! Hey, Hanawa! Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Hi. 
Did one of you three ladies just call out my name? <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> Mikiwa-san! Oh. That's weird. After all these years of pining and hoping, Mikiwa finally has her feelings for Hanawa returned. Now she's going around acting like it's no big deal that he's in love with her. I know the feeling. Huh? Practically every girl who's fallen in love has been in that situation. Yeah? You never know how you're going to react when the person that you've been in love with for a long time finally tells you they feel the same way. So I can certainly empathize with Migiwa's awkward predicament. Is that really how it works? I can imagine. I'd be just the same if Hideki said... Sakuko. Hideki. Sakuko, I love you. <laughs> Hideki. For the win! Oh, Hideki! I love you, too! Oh, I don't know what to say. Look, sis, the chances of Hideki <laughs> expressing love for you are zilch and none. Sounds about right. Yeah, a girl in love is way more complicated than I imagined. Maruko, will you pick up something from the store? This is why you're putting on weight, Mom. Huh? You always make me walk to the store, but if you did it yourself, it'd be good exercise, and you wouldn't pack on the pounds like you have lately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with how I am. A little bit of extra weight keeps me warm in the winter. Here you go. Don't dawdle now. Huh? Migiwa. Maruko. Migiwa, you lost weight. Maybe. I guess it's possibly 10 kilos or something. I don't think it's possible to lose 10 kilos in a day. Maruko, being in love is really hard. Huh? I wanted to be mutually in love with Hanawa for years now. But now he's confessed his love, I feel too self-conscious and I can't speak to him like before. Oh. If I'd have known this would have happened, I'd have kept things one-sided. <laughs> Okay, just chill. I can't. I just don't think we're meant to be together. It's doomed. No way! Don't you ever say that. You're not considering Hanawa's feelings here. <laughs> it took courage for Hanawa to express his love for you. Everyone knows how hard it is to say I love you to somebody. Courage. Sure, it did happen in the confusion of the school morning, but he gathered up the courage to tell you he loved you today, and then he did it. So in the confusion, he gathered courage. But if you choose to just run away from his feelings after he did something like that, then I can't help but feel sorry for Hanawa. Maruko. The more I think about it, the more I think Hanawa's quite a cool guy. Out of all the other girls in our school, he chose you for some special reason. He's the rich kid stereotype. He's got real eccentric taste. Just what is that supposed to mean? Uh, oh, I just meant that I don't know which part of you he likes, that's all. But either way, he sure knows the value of a woman is not in her looks. That's really admirable. She's throwing some serious shade there. Oh, hello there, ladies. Oh? Hanawa! <laughs> You're walking Victoria, huh? Yeah. It's a gorgeous and refreshing day today, isn't it? going to attack you. No, I don't think I can. So, I was talking about it with all the others in class this morning. Yeah? Uh, what's it? I wonder, could he mean... about to explode! <laughs> well, anyway, how about you guys? Do you like egg white or yolk? Uh-uh. Pardon me? Yeah, one of the school reporters is doing a survey on it. The results will be printed in the school newspaper soon. I must say I love yolk. Do I like the egg white or yolk? So, Hanawa, you... you love yolk. You love yolk.
Uh, oh, I think I see what happened there. So, ladies, which one of them do you prefer? Uh, I'm not too sure. I guess I like the egg white. But I'm also pretty partial to a nice, mild, sticky yolk cooked sunny side up. How about you, Megiwa? I don't really care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> say it's me. Uh? Now, say it's me that you love. Uh, Hanawa! What are you talking about? You uh, don't love the egg white or the yolk. I'm the one that you love. Why are you being so intense, baby? Uh. <laughs> Come on! Oh. Tell me that you love me right now! Me right now! Me right now! Me right now! Oh my goodness! Cool! Victoria? Victoria? Oh, wow! I just noticed that her nose is runny. I'd better go and take her to the vet. Uh, goodbye! So that means that he wasn't confessing his love for you, right? No. He really does love me. Huh? Oh, come on! Didn't you just hear with your very own ears when he told Victoria that I have a pretty nose? <laughs> Hold on. Didn't Hanawa say she had a runny nose? <laughs> With mental gymnastics like that, Megiwa should be a shoe in for the next Olympics. Maruko, I won't run away anymore. I'm going to let Hanawa's feelings into my heart. Amaryllis, we're leaving! <laughs> it was at that point that Maruko couldn't help but admire Megiwa for her optimism. Believe it. It's the first time you've won the 10,000 yen gift certificate in the lottery. It just proves that if you live long enough, something good will eventually happen. Go on, then. What are you going to buy? Let me see here. I think it'd be nice if you spent it on yourselves. Well, in that case, I think I'll buy myself a new fishy <laughs> rod. Cut it out! Uh, what's wrong? Since it was Grandpa who won this gift certificate, I think it's only fitting that he buys whatever he wants. Don't you think so? Uh, Maruko! I know my grandpa well. He won't be able to help but spend it all on his beloved granddaughter. <laughs> That's right. Just like Maruko said, Grandpa, you should spend it all yourself. You think so? I think I'll spend it on this herbal medicine I've heard about that's meant to extend your life. Huh? Seriously? Uh, what, what do you mean? You've lived plenty long enough, Grandpa, so why don't you buy something that others can enjoy? I can't think of anyone those herbs would make happy. Uh, why would no one be happy for me? Maruko, you completely contradicted everything you said. Uh, no, I don't think that's the case. All righty then. Grandpa, why don't you just think of something that would make everyone in the family happy? <sighs> it looks like nobody in the family cares if I live longer, huh? <gasps> I'd say Grandpa's got a point there. I know. Wouldn't it be nice to take everyone out to a restaurant for dinner? Uh, a restaurant? Buying things isn't the only way to spend money. Isn't creating a treasured memory between the six of us just as important now? A treasured memory, huh? Speaking about restaurants, Yoshiko was talking to me about a really good Chinese restaurant she went to in Shizuoka the other day. You mean the kind of place that sells ramen noodles and dim sum? I think it's much fancier food than that. According to Yoshiko, they ate some lovely Peking duck. And there were other dishes like shark spin and swallow's nest. What is that? Well, to be totally honest with you, I don't really know, but she said they were all delicious dishes. Yeah? It sounds like that would create a treasured memory for sure. Hey, Grandpa, did you ever consider that if you eat delicious food, you might live longer? Huh? Seriously? Yep. Let's create some memories at a nice restaurant. Maruko, you're too generous. Letting me live much longer, that'd be so nice. A haiku from Tomozo's uplifted mind. Let's do it! Tomorrow night, we'll go to a nice restaurant. He's quick to recover. I'll give him that. And so the next day. Just a bowl of rice and pickles for lunch? Yes. According to Maruko, it's much better if we all have an empty stomach when we go to dinner later tonight. Huh. She uses her brain for the wrong things. Don't worry. Pretty soon, we'll be having Peking duck, shark's fin, and swallow's nest. <sighs> I can't wait to find out what they even are. Well, Peking duck is just a duck's skin, and shark's fin is a shark's tail fin, and a swallow's nest is a bird's nest congealed with the saliva of a swallow. What? what? Why do you always have to be gross and funny, Dad? It's not a joke. 
Look, it's all right here in this book. Of course, Hiroshi looked this up earlier. You mean to say we're going to spend 10,000 yen on inedible fish arms and bird barf? Come on. These are sophisticated meals that are served as an imperial court dish. Huh? Imperial court dish? What's that, Dad? Oh, it's the luxurious dishes that were eaten by old Chinese kings and princesses. <laughs> Your food is going to get cold. You can't find it? <clears throat> no, let's forget it. No! We need a camera for this occasion! We don't have time to find it. Without photos, we won't have evidence of the treasured memory, so you better keep on looking. Uh. <laughs> Hurry up. We won't make it in time for our reservation. Look, we found the camera! <sighs> oh, look at all of you out together. Are you going somewhere? We sure are. We're all going out to eat the Chinese Imperial Court Dish. Peking duck, shark's fin, and swallow's nest. Oh, I've never had any of those dishes before. Please tell me how they tasted next time I see you. Sure. I'm pretty sure they're going to be yummy. Stop your yapping. Let's move it. <laughs> Have a good time. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh. I can't believe we only had pickles and rice for lunch. Yeah, I'm starving. I'm pretty sure we're on the wrong street. Hiroshi, according to this, we should have turned left. <laughs> Serious? But we took a right when we left the train station. We're definitely on the wrong street. I think they might be right, dear. We'll just go back, all right? It's not hard. Well, either way, we've missed our reservation. No! What are we going to do if we can't get into the restaurant? I'm starving to death here! Be quiet! This is all your fault for insisting that we bring that silly camera with us! What? You're blaming this on me, huh? Stop it. Let's just get there. Looks like everyone's empty stomachs are making them extra cranky. <sighs> We're right here. here! Finally. Wait just a minute! What do you say we take a picture in front of the restaurant? Uh -huh. Absolutely not. Let's just go inside. It's way past our reservation time. This is for our treasured memory, remember? Quickly, everybody line up. Oh, I'm so hungry. Huh? Hey, is that really the best smile you can do? Oh, Ni Hao. Uh, uh, is he Chinese? Uh, Ni Hao, Xi Xi, Shanghai, Beijing, Dim Sum. Ha. Grandpa, we have a reservation for Sakura. Ah, the Sakuras are here. I assume you are a no-show. I'm sorry. We got lost on the way here. It's about time for last orders. It's no problem, though. Come this way, please. Here, sir. Oh. What a bizarre table. Hey, it moves. Wow, I think it rotates. Oh, wow, would you look at that? This is so interesting, right? I should take a picture. Huh. Really? You're going to waste a photo of just the table? Have you decided what to have, sir? Uh, well... Hey, Dad. It's Peking Duck, Shark's Fin, and Swallow's Nest. Uh, I think we decided that we're having Peking Duck, Shark's Fin, and Swallow's Nest, please. Sorry, but we're all out of Peking Duck today, sir. Huh? But here's the Swallow Nest soup you asked for. Oh. Hmm. Something wrong? It's really expensive and it doesn't look like it will fill our stomachs up. You could be right. Everyone is extremely hungry, though. Perhaps we should order something a little more filling, dear. Ahem. <clears throat> Sorry, but the only dish we can serve at this time of night is ramen noodles. Ramen? We came out this way to have ramen. Wait a second. I can see shark fin ramen on the menu. Shark fin ramen? Okay, I'll have that, Dad. I think Grandma and I will have that as well. Uh, we like to have six shark fin ramens. Coming right up, sir. Boy, I'm glad we get to have shark's fin at least. Mmm. But then, I wonder if ramen is part of the imperial dish. Why, of course. All the Chinese ancient princesses went absolutely bonkers for ramen noodles. I've never heard such a ridiculous statement. And here you go, folks. Uh, where exactly is the shark's fin in this dish? Well, I guess we're about to find out when we eat it. Yeah. 
When we find it, let's take a picture of it. Right. I think everybody should dig in. Oh, Just wonderful. That, that was worth the wait. wait. I'm all finished. Boy, that was incredible. Oh, my goodness. We were all so hungry. We ate the whole thing at once. Mm. Huh? What about the shark's fin? Uh, yeah, I forgot. Do you think we ate it and didn't notice? The only thing I saw was an onion and an egg. You're right. Do you think they forgot to put it in? Huh? No way. Is something wrong? My granddaughter said she didn't see any shark's fin. Huh? Look here, miss. This here is shark's fin. Huh? Those little slivers are shark's fin? I thought there'd be a big lump of it or something. Everyone was so hungry that they ate their meal without ever noticing the existence of shark's fin. I can't believe we went to Shizuoka for that. All that way to eat a bowl of ramen. Oh, there's Mrs. Takamura. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having oh, me. Oh, no. She's going to ask us all kinds of questions. I know. Ah. 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 <sighs> what was the point of going out? A few days later. What kind of pictures were you taking? <laughs> Look here, this photo has everyone in it. Show me. Oh, my goodness. This doesn't exactly scream treasured memory, you know what I mean? Not really, but it does seem like the kind of photo we'll all laugh at in years to come. To tell you the truth, it's actually hard to take that kind of photo. Maruko hoped they would laugh at this photo someday. It's true, very rarely has a grumpier family ever been captured in a single photograph. <laughs> 